Hello everyone. So this is a quick one about a project that I just finished. And the project is to rebuild the keyboard for my Atari 130XE. <laughs> Um, so this is a project I've been uh, uh, working on for a few months and I couldn't be happier with the results. Uh, so here is what it looks like in the end and you couldn't tell by looking at it that this is actually a mechanical keyboard. Um, originally this is what it looks like inside. Uh, you've got steel plate, you've got a membrane and you've got some plungers that are going through this uh, plastic here and establishing contact uh, between uh, on the on the on the membrane here you can replace everything with mx compatible keys and this is what i did uh, so those switches are actually uh, kl box pinks so let me remove one of the caps here. So here is the difficulty here. The difficulty is that when you look at the at the keycaps, they do not look like you know the cross that you're used to on regular keycaps, such as yeah, this is what a keycap looks like normally. You get this little cross in the middle that fits onto the switches and Box pink looks like this. So the keycap is supposed to fit into that. So how do you make that work with the original keycaps, which I really wanted to keep? Well, you have to replace that little part in the middle, which is what I did. And I 3D printed that. And resin printers today are um, have enough resolution to make small pieces like that. Uh, I took a lot of effort actually to uh, get that to work, but it does today and uh, the result is here. I had to create a custom uh, PCB here. I also had a uh, steel plate done so that all the keys are properly aligned and uh, I get stability uh, for the keyboard. Um, and it also helps, you know, make the, the noise and the feel of the keyboard exactly right. Um, and what's extraordinary is that in the end, uh, the keyboard uh, fits exactly in the... Well, I had, I had to do some little hacks here. Next revision is not going to need that, but uh, it pretty much fits exactly in the case. And when you close it, the keys here are exactly flush, uh, which is a happy coincidence almost, but I'm, I'm very happy about that. I didn't have to, you know, hack the case so that so that the, the keys uh, fit properly. So cu currently, uh, let me reopen that for a second. I have a Raspberry Pi Pico here in the back um, connected. But the idea is that in the end, it will connect back to the, the actual PCB. If you change the, the headers here, uh, this is the keyboard connector, so there used to be a, a connector for the, the membrane. Uh, I replaced it with some uh, more modern, more modern uh, pins, uh, so that it's easier to connect uh, to the new keyboard. And uh, because I connected it to a PyPico, uh, it can actually act as a regular uh, keyboard um, for the PC. And I programmed it actually so that it reproduces the keys that uh, the Altera emulator uh, expects. So let me switch to the emulator actually. So here I have the emulator. The keyboard is connected to uh, the PC that is hosting the emulator. And I can just start typing. Try list. I have a little program here. I can run it. I can break and then all the keys work exactly uh, as as you'd expect. Uh, the escape key, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, inferior, superior, backspace, uh, the arrow keys using control. Uh, I can control delete. I can even 
do the, the little uh, graphical keys here. I can use caps and have uh, lowercase. Uh, go back to uppercase. I can shift. Um, so everything works uh, like you'd expect, right? Um, yeah, we can even do reverse video. Um, everything works, including the what was very difficult to set up is uh, a space bar that actually um, works correctly because you need stabilizers for that and the uh, um, the metal part that constitutes the stabilizers, the original ones, uh, are too big to fit into um, the uh, costar uh, stabilizers that you can buy. So I had to make my own again uh, using 3D printing, and they look like that. Very small parts, but that's fine with uh, with resin. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. So here is a video of me typing on this keyboard. I'm very happy about Oops. Isn't that lovely? That's it. <laughs> Thanks for watching.